Hello everyone and welcome back to the Minnesota Gophers Dynasty. Today is the Big Ten opener as the Gophers are on the road to face the Ohio State Buckeyes. After a very successful start to the season, we'll see what the Gophers do when they're faced with tougher competition here in the Big Ten. The defense especially had a dominant start to this season, allowing six points over the first three games. I was also impressed by the offense, led by running back Matt Pierre. But now, non-conference play is over, and the Big Ten season is here. Shane Wood approaches, and we're underway in week four. Back deep for the Buckeyes is Desi Williams, and he takes a knee. Both offenses in this game feature first-year quarterbacks and offenses led by senior running backs. For Ohio State, it's Mark Culp leading the way on the ground, while quarterback Jason Muhammad makes his third career start. First and ten, Culp on the ground, running left and right into Joe Preston and Reggie Carter, gain of two. We'll see if this defense can rattle the inexperienced quarterback as he throws the screen on second down and Culp's not going anywhere. The Gophers defend the screen very well and Culp loses one. First third down on the day, Gophers blitz. Underneath, caught by Dixon and hit by Reggie Carter. He did not get the first down. There is the first three and out. Now we see the Gopher offense who put up 31 points last week. On first down, it's a fake. Gallagher fires outside, complete to Nick Wilkerson for 16 yards. Gallagher threw for 288 in the air last week. Now to the ground, here's Matt Pierre right up the middle for a first down as Pierre has around 12. Excellent run blocking on that first attempt. New set of downs, first and 10 Gallagher. With time, he fires and that's knocked away from Clint Porter by Jamar Powers. This secondary for Ohio State has a lot of speed. Now third and six, Gallagher down the middle. James makes the catch and he hung on. Nate Jefferson, the All-American, applied the hit, but somehow James kept possession of that football. Another impressive play from James puts the Gophers in the red zone. Buckeyes blitz, Gallagher to the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Marcus Williams already has his fourth touchdown catch on the year, and Gallagher hits him for the opening drive score. Great start for Minnesota, and now an update, as we will see a new number two ranked team next week with Texas A&M losing to Georgia. Number four Michigan State holds on despite a tough game from Mid-Tennessee State. Back to the action, Buckeye ball and Mark Culp with a stiff arm in the backfield, but not escaping Ronnie Osborne, gain of two. Buckeyes spread the field with four receivers. Third and eight for Muhammad, deep shot right, it's intercepted by Calvin Hall. That's his third on the season. He's inside the 30. He's got wheels, picks up a block, and he's gone. Touchdown, Minnesota. It's a 14-0 first quarter lead. If you want to outthrow Calvin Hall, you need a lot more air than that. Hall has elite speed for a safety, and that makes him so valuable. Minnesota wasting no time taking control of this game as the Buckeyes go to the ground, and Mark Colt puts together a solid carry to bring up a third and medium. Buckeyes need six. Good coverage downfield as Muhammad throws it away. I think he felt the pressure from Greg Kelly and just had to get rid of it. Minnesota playing excellent in this first quarter. Now they take over. Here's a counter. Matt Pierre, big juke, broke a tackle, and that's a nine yard gain on first down. Three wide on second. Now it's a fake to Matt Pierre, and there's pressure. Lost the football and picked up by Moore. That was a problem last week for Minnesota, and we've had a lot of pressure on those play actions. Backed up from second and inches to third and eight. Gallagher, clean pocket, now steps out to his left, but no receivers on that half of the field, and his pass is incomplete. Buckeyes get the stop, and they needed it to slow us down. Empty set on first and ten, it's a quarterback draw, and Muhammad runs right into Vincent Walker, who was unblocked. That's never a good idea. Going back to the air, it's a screen. Looks like running room for Culp as Moore evades the block. Culp fights through the tackle, but Moore was able to slow him down enough to let Calvin Hall catch up. After the 15-yard gain, fake inside, Muhammad off his back foot. It's tipped, intercepted by Joe Preston. He tipped it to himself off his back. What concentration from Joe Preston. It's the second turnover for this Gopher defense. They're looking just as good as they did in non-conference play. Gophers take over again inside, give but nowhere to go for TJ Jackson. 
as the Gophers couldn't block J.J. Williams. Three wide on second and 11. Now it's a play action bootleg. Gallagher sprints out left. Remaining patient. Now heaves deep for Porter. It's intercepted by Nate Jefferson. That's one of the All-Americans on this Ohio State defense. I think he's their best player. You're seeing two of the very best strong safeties in today's game. Another chance taken by Gallagher results in a pick. Muhammad takes over. He fires out right to Lester Price, the All-American tight end who needs to help this passing game get going. On first down, Muhammad hands off. Here's Culp on a shotgun counter, and he runs through a lane inside the 30. Culp's got one man to beat. He sheds the tackle, and he scores. That's the first touchdown the Gophers have allowed on defense this season. Excellent blocking for more Culp. But it took some power at the end to finish the job. 56-yard touchdown for the Buckeyes. We have a quick update again as Minnesota's next opponent, Rutgers, lost by seven today to the Auburn Tigers. Now Minnesota takes over. They lead by seven. On the ground, Pierre, big joke and a big hit. That's what happens when you're constantly leaving the ground. Third down and seven. Gallagher heads to the air. Good protection, now out left, and he finds Lee James, who makes another impressive catch. First down, Gophers. With two tight ends in the game this time, it's a stretch. Pierre out right, but he won't get the edge. Maybe only a gain of one to force third down and three. Three receiver formation, and the Gophers tried to get the Buckeyes to jump. Gallagher's hard count got his own man to jump. Third and three turns into third and eight. Four-man rush, Gallagher fires complete, first down, Nick Wilkerson, gain of 11. Now into the second quarter, Gophers have a first and 10, and Gallagher calls his own number off the option. Across the 50, Gallagher close to the marker, and a half yard short. Two receivers right on second down. Back to the air, Gallagher to Marcus Williams, good catch for a first down, six yards that time. From the Buckeye 40 on first down, Gallagher to Porter, and that's knocked away for the second time by Jamar Powers. We're seeing the coverage ability from this secondary, and now the Gophers go back to their running game. Electric spin move from Matt Pierre as he picks up 14 more. And that is why Pierre is in the Heisman conversation. Second down, Gallagher out wide to Clint Porter, who this time can make the catch. Gain of five. Trips left for Minnesota. As they go back to the ground, TJ Jackson runs into his own man and loses one. Same formation, Wilkerson isolated right. Gallagher throws up top, he wants Wilkerson, and it's intercepted in the end zone. Again, Gallagher takes a chance, and both players had a shot at it. Buckeyes take over, still a seven point game. Doesn't get much quicker than that as Muhammad hits Ernest Hull for a quick gain of eight. Minnesota with two down linemen. Hand off Culp and in the backfield is Calvin Hall. That's a loss of five. Excellent read and reaction play by Calvin Hall. Now third and seven. Clean pocket, Muhammad throws complete to Ernest Hall for a first down. The Gophers couldn't get any pressure that time. On second down from an empty set, they'll call the draw again. And this time Jason Muhammad can pick up the first down. That's a gain of nine. Gophers in a three man front. Now on the ground, here's Brian White inside the Gopher 45 and picking up a Buckeye first down. Now the Buckeyes face a third down and four. Gophers in press coverage. Muhammad throws it away. The coverage was excellent, and I don't think Muhammad's very comfortable in the pocket right now. It's a 51-yard try for Campbell. From left hash, he keeps it inside the right upright. 14-10 Gophers. Minnesota begins this drive, split shotgun. Gallagher hit, gets the pass off short to Clint Porter, and that will be a gain of nine. Marcus Williams in the slot as the handoff goes to speedy TJ Jackson. Outside to the 38-yard line, that's a gain of seven. First down and 10, same formation. Gallagher down the middle and connecting with Marcus Williams for a 26-yard first down. That Gallagher and Williams connection has been fun. Now it's a quick screen. Here's Lee James with blockers. Now the speed of Lee James inside the 10 and down to the Ohio State 4. Minnesota goes five wide. Gallagher has to hurry. He does and calls his own number as Tim Gallagher is in from four yards out. Touchdown, Minnesota. They have made this again a two-score game. 
the Buckeyes will have a chance to answer with a minute 26 left in all three timeouts. First and 10, Muhammad loves right, and Williams is there, but he can't hang on. The hit was by Joe Bennett. On second down, empty set this time. Short throw, Dixon, and he's rocked by Josh Mackey. This defense really makes you earn your yards. Clock winding down, 40 seconds, third and seven, complete to Lester Price. And that is enough for a Buckeye first down. Gophers again in press coverage, 35 seconds. Muhammad deep, left and connecting with Ernest Hull, who beat Joe Preston on a nice double move. This time the corners play off. Second down and 10, Muhammad runs to his right, and there's Greg Kelly to sack him for a loss of two. Buckeyes in long distance field goal range, only six seconds left. Muhammad to his right, and wide open, Desi Williams. First down, Buckeyes, and they do get the timeout off. Jason Muhammad put together a good possession in the air, and that allows the Buckeyes to add on three more points to make this an eight point game as we reach the halfway point. So far, Minnesota is still looking strong, but the Buckeyes are keeping this game close. 21-13, and the Gophers will have the football to begin the third quarter. The defense may have allowed their first touchdown, and the offense is still turning the ball over, but the Gophers are still looking very impressive in their first Big Ten game on the season. I think in this second half that Gophers need to trust their running game, and we'll see if they do that here to begin the third quarter. Back deep on the return, here's Eric Lemon, and he takes it out. Up the sideline, Lemon gets some blocks, up to the 40 and brought down after a 51 yard return. Minnesota was committed to the running game to begin last week's third quarter. And they start on the ground here as Tim Gallagher keeps for a first down. And just like that, the Gophers are in Buckeye territory. Again on the ground, Matt Pierre this time inside and putting together another good run as he falls forward for seven. James in motion, now it's a counter. Pierre racing right, but there is Nate Jefferson and he stops him a yard shy. Fourth down and the Gophers keep the offense on the field. They get the playoff in time, here's TJ Jackson, first down and more, and Jefferson misses inside the five. Jackson's out at the one yard line. They needed one, Jackson got 34. Pierre back in the game, it's a pitch to him, but he won't find the end zone. As a matter of fact, he lost at least one or two. Second down and goal, diamond package. Pierre straight up the gut and into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. And for Matt Pierre, it's his fourth rushing touchdown in as many games. 28-13 Gophers. Again, the Gophers start fast. How will the Buckeyes answer? Good throw from Muhammad to Ernest Hull as he's starting to find a rhythm, throwing to Hall. Dixon in motion, now they go to the ground, and there is Ronnie Osborne. Excellent run stop as Culp gets nothing. Outside of one run, not much success on the ground. Now it's third and five, Muhammad chased and sacked by Greg Kelly. Everybody was going deep, and Muhammad didn't have the time. We turn things back over to the Gopher offense. They go to the air on second down. And Gallagher chased from behind and brought down again. That's a loss of five. Daryl Lee with his second sack. Needing nine, the Gophers go four wide. Gallagher down the middle, and there's Lee James once more. 23 yards and a Gopher first down. James is close to 100 on the day. Now on first down, there's quick pressure, and down goes Gallagher again. Third time for Daryl Lee. Can someone please block him? Second and 17, four man rush and Gallagher is hit again. This old line can't block right now. Too many hits on Tim Gallagher. Pierre stays in the block on third and 17. Gallagher fires and hits Brandon Jones for a first down. That time Gallagher had enough time for the deep out. Maybe it's time to go back to the ground. Fake and the option runs left. Look at the blocking by the receivers. Gallagher inside the 20. I don't know if anybody's going to catch him. They won't. Touchdown, Tim Gallagher. 42 yards. Are you kidding me? I'll be honest. I didn't think he had the speed to pull that off. But he had some help from the blockers. Go back and watch that again. Clint Porter did an excellent job. The long Gallagher touchdown has made this a 22-point game. And now Muhammad facing pressure as he's hit by Jason Harper. Pass incomplete. 
split shotgun look on second and ten. Muhammad lobs it left and that's almost picked off by Ronnie Osborne. The Gophers have retaken full control in this second half. Now third and ten, dumped off to Dixon. Osborne's there and he makes the stop shy of the marker. That's another Buckeye three and out. The Buckeyes need something big as the third quarter winds down. Gallagher running again to buy time. Now throwing complete to Marcus Williams. That's a first down. Another impressive play by Gallagher outside the pocket. Now back to Matt Pierre who picks up eight yards running inside. Third down in Buckeye territory. Handoff goes to Matt Pierre. He wants to cut it left and ran right into J.J. Williams. Fourth down. Ohio State takes over as the fourth quarter is underway. But they haven't managed much success against this Gopher defense since the first half. Muhammad on second down lobs out to Lester Price. That's good for eight. Another big third down for Ohio State. They run it and Mark Culp runs into Josh Mackey. But I think he got enough. Tough day for Mark Culp. Muhammad gives it back to him. He sheds one tackle and Mackey's there again. I don't think he hits any softer than that. Third and ten Ohio State. Four-man rush and Price has the catch over the middle. And Carter makes the stop a yard shy of the marker. Buckeyes offense stays on the field. They need one. Muhammad fakes and he's hit by Jason Harper. Turnover on downs. What a performance from this defense in the second half. 22-point game and the Gophers will again continue to run as Matt Pierre picks up six on first down. Second down Gophers, this time they'll throw it. Gallagher up top, he wants Porter and that is knocked away. Those aggressive shots haven't worked out, especially against this defense. Pierre tries to cut it back on third down, but he won't pick up the first. Minnesota adds a field goal to make this a 25 point game. Buckeye ball, here's Dixon over the middle. And he breaks tackles, he's across the 40 and finally brought down by Mike Moore after a gain of 20. That's the best play they've had in this second half. Now Muhammad fires right again. There's Ernest Hull for a first down. This time it's a gain of 18. A couple nice back-to-back -back plays. First and 10. Four-man rush. Muhammad to his right and finds Horton who breaks another tackle. First down again for the Buckeyes. This play is a 15-yarder. Probably the most consistent this offense has looked all day. Now to his left. There's Price who makes the catch and throws a stiff arm as he picks up 10. Closing in on the end zone, first and goal. Muhammad over the middle, Williams is there and he is stopped by Reggie Carter at the one. They bring back in Mark Culp on second down and he gets the carry and punches this in for the Ohio State touchdown. That was the best Buckeye drive on the day, but they're still down by three scores. Now the onside kick try and it's picked up by Marcus Williams and he picks up a few yards in the process as the Gophers take over with this three score lead. Handoff goes to Matt Pierre and there's a big juke, another first down run for Matt Pierre. That's 14 yards. 105 on the day for Pierre. And now on a jet sweep, Nick Wilkerson and his speed gets outside and steps out of bounds after a gain of nine. Ohio State not even using their timeouts as Gallagher this time throwing and connects with Marcus Williams for another third down conversion. Ohio State is letting the clock run right now as Matt Pierre with a juke and upfield he goes for a gain of five. Clock now inside, one minute left. And the handoff goes to TJ Jackson. He won't go far, but the Gophers are on their way to win number four. Only three seconds left for Ohio State and they will just run the football and Mark Culp is once again stopped by Reggie Carter. 13 carries for 22 yards outside of his 56 yard touchdown. The Gophers win again. This time in the Big Ten opener against number 14 Ohio State. And still this team looks dominant. Especially on defense. Whether you want to run or you want to pass. You're dealing with a complete defense. With playmakers on all levels. Ohio State came in running the football much more than they pass. But us taking the early lead and forcing them to throw throughout the game definitely threw them off. When they did try to run, we stopped it outside of one play. And when they passed the football, it seemed like Jason Muhammad was uncomfortable for about 90% of the game. 
He played well at the end of the first half and at the end of the second half when the game was out of reach. When we had the football, we obviously had more trouble passing against the secondary, but again, the running game is the bread and butter of this offense. And the Gophers improved to 4-0 as they will face the Rutgers Scarlet Knights in Week 5, when the Gophers return for their first home game of the Big Ten schedule. Rutgers has a quarterback who hasn't thrown an interception. I'm looking forward to hopefully ending that streak. And a solid number one receiver in Wendell Moss, who's had a very productive start to his year. It's 4-0 Minnesota against 1-2 Rutgers next week. And so far, the Gophers have exceeded my expectations. I did not think they would be this good this early in the season. The defense has been outstanding, and Tim Gallagher has definitely had some great moments in his first four games. But I'm sure some tough tests await us especially against teams with more experienced quarterbacks. If you look at the top 25, the top three teams are all in the Big Ten, and a handful of others are throughout the rest of the top 25. But we'll take this season one game at a time, and next time around it's Minnesota against Rutgers. As Matt Pierre is still in the Heisman conversation, we'll see if he strengthens his case once again next week. He ran for over 100 yards and had a touchdown in today's game. That is it for week four. Hope you guys enjoyed the Big Ten opener as Minnesota wins big. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment below your thoughts on today's game, which players impressed you, and let me know, who do you think is the team MVP through four games? Personally, I'd say it's Calvin Hall, and every time he makes a big play, I just think about how close he was to leaving for the NFL in this past offseason. He has three interceptions already, a touchdown, he's making plays in the running game. It's hard to find anybody more valuable than him right now. Be sure to also hit that subscribe button for more Minnesota Dynasty to come, and check out the rest of my content that I've been posting lately. Have a great day guys, I will see you next time against Rutgers.